Hello again, it's Debbie from AcrylicPouring.com and today no kind of experiment at all. So in the last, um, well quite a few videos I've been doing, it's always a bit of an experiment with me. Shall we try this? Shall we try that? How is this going to affect it if we do this? How is that going to affect it? Today I'm just in the mood for throwing a bunch of colours together and seeing what happens. So I've just got my regular setup. I've got primary colours, so I've got red, blue and yellow, so nothing fancy there. I've got some white. However, of course, I can never resist a little bit of sparkle. So I've got my um, sparkle medium here. This is just made with a, a fine iridescent glitter. Comes in a jar like this and I had it left over from when I used to do soap making. So I've got that mixed in with a little bit of Floetrol. And so as I pour my colours into the cup, every now and again, I'm going to dash a little bit of glitter in and uh, hopefully give my project a bit of sparkle. I've also got my spinny tool. I've got um, just my cake decorating stand here and a record. And I'm gonna just pour something in a lovely spiral, hopefully get some nice bright colors and we'll see what happens. So I'm gonna put it all in a cup and then I'm just gonna pour onto the record. I'm gonna start off with a bit of sparkle magic in the bottom in the hope that that will come out on the top. Bit of white, oops, for our contrast. And then I'm just gonna layer up some of these colors. I really like the squeezy bottles. Makes it very easy. There we go. You can also squeeze the colors in through each other a lot more. So I'm hoping I'll get more mixing by using the squeezy bottles like this. But we'll see. More yellow more blue. So I remember last time I span a record I had lots of paint left over. Oh dear, got some not great colours going on in there. We'll see. I think maybe they're mixing a bit much. A little bit more. So I'm expecting that if all goes well I'm going to have plenty of paint and I may even have some left over for another little mini project. So let's see. So I've got some interesting stuff going on in the cup. I can see all the, the little bits and pieces all popping up to the top, all little cells and different colours. It's looking quite dark and quite green, but of course you can never really tell, can you, until it's all ready. Then zoom in and take a little closer look at the cup. So there we are in the cup. Wow, those colours have all really, really mixed in together. So it's looking fabulous if it came out on the record like that but in a bigger scale I would be happy. So let's see if I can get this spinning. It's uh, always a bit difficult to get it to go fast because it was never really designed for that. It's a cake decorating wheel after all. Let's give it a go. Well, there's not a lot of white there, and there's not a lot of yellow. Um, there's quite a bit of blue here, mostly red, mostly purple. And as I'm, I can see all the bits and pieces developing, there's an interesting line just around here, which is kind of green, which has got little elements of yellow. And I've got some bits of yellow here, but for the most part, the yellow and the white completely disappeared, and the red and the blue have kind of really overtaken this one. So that's really interesting. Of course I put the white mostly on the bottom so maybe I've actually got quite a lot of paint left over so if I poured again I might find completely different colours the next time around. So let's take a look. So as I've left it to develop it's looking a little bit more red and purple now than it was. Got a lot more interest, there's a very distinct red line come through here which is nice but I think I can bring out a little bit more even so I am going to torch it and I've got some really nice a blue circle just here too. But I'm going to give it a little torch over and uh, see if we can bring out a bit more detail.
that's made a lot of difference actually. Got a lot more distinct lines now. It's a very interesting line. In fact, the, the spirals, the lines going around, are all very nice. So I don't need to do anything. I think it's absolutely perfect as it is. Don't need to touch up any of the sides. They're all perfectly covered. I will double check when I put it out on the stand. But now let me just take you in and show some details. So these are some of the rings that are just going around the outside of the record there. Really, really nice. Actually, there's a little bit too much glare from the lights to be able to really see a lot of the detail that I'm seeing. But uh, there we are. You can see the kind of lines that are running through it. Really nice. And there's a, another red line that's coming through here. Oh, there we go. If I put it on the camera. And the blue. Really, really striking. And then we can kind of follow the, the um, spiral round into the centre. Some really nice areas here too. And I really like this, um, the kind of yellow and green band. That looks nice. So, another very successful pour and really, really fun to do as well. So as always, come back and continue to watch. Um, I'm going to show you the completed and dried record in just a few moments. So here's the record dried and I have to say I'm a bit disappointed. It looked really beautiful when it was wet and it still has excellent details. You know, the, the details in the, the spiral, they really are phenomenal when you look at them up close. But overall, I'm just finding it too dark. And I can turn it towards the light, you can see a bit more of the colour. But for the most part, I think it's too dark. I know I like dark colours, rich colours, but this one just doesn't have enough contrast, it's a bit flat. so. Um, although I liked it wet, I'm not liking it dry, and this one I'm afraid I'm going to call a fail. I'm going to re gesso and I'll use this surface for a future project. Anyway, as usual, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've uh, enjoyed and uh, enjoyed watching the spiral effect and what can happen when you print with primary colours. And um, give me a thumbs up for trying, and hopefully, you'll subscribe to the channel and watch my future videos. Thank you.